Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a leaky Pittsburgh jack, and this will also work with any other type of jack. Um, the screw placement might just be different. So for this jack, we're going to need to, there's two screws to think about. So there's this one up in the front, and then there's this one in the back. The front one is for bleeding, and the back one is for filling. So for the front one, first we're going to bleed it. You're going to want to bleed your, your hydraulic cylinder first. So we're going to unscrew this. screw out of there and if you're having leaking issues this bolt right here has a gasket around it and these gaskets are really 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 cheap that uh, Harbor Freight puts on them so I would recommend buying a new gasket you don't need to throw away this entire jack just because it's out of warranty and it started leaking so this with stop leak will help you um, but if this doesn't fix it then buying a new gasket is your best bet so once we've taken off the screw, we're gonna loosen this. We're gonna spin this counterclockwise to loosen it all the way. And then we're gonna pump it. And we're gonna let the air get out. Okay, so it's pumped now. Now we're going to fill it back up, and to do that we're going to place that screw aside. We're going to take this Phillips screw out, and this is another place where it might leak. There's also an o-ring that goes around that one, so you might want to buy an o-ring for each one. And then we're just going to fill this up super slowly. Let me just let you guys see what's going on. We're going to fill this up slowly. Just, I'm just doing it one drop at a time. Until it's all the way full. And I was having an issue where this jack would no longer get up more than about halfway. It would go up and lift the car about like 6 or 12 inches. And then it was, it was getting hard to work on cars that way. And I didn't trust it to not just fall on me. So this should fix that issue. And these bottles are super cheap. I'll have a link down in the video description. You're going to want to have a rag handy in case you spill some. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to need a Phillips head for this model. A lot of models just need flathead. Alright, so I can, I can see the level of the other one rising up. It is full. Okay, so if, as you can see, hope you can see on the camera, the bigger hole just filled up all the way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace this screw. And then you're going to want to wipe up any that you may have spilled. Being careful not to get anything inside the bigger hole. And then we're going to bleed it one more time, and some may come out. No bubbles. Okay, that's what we're looking for is no bubbles. So then we're going to replace this bigger screw. Awesome, I got it started. And then we're going to tighten it down. Ooh, the sun just came out. And you know what, tighten this pretty tight, especially if you're getting leaks, so that the O-ring has a good seal. And then again, wipe down anything you worked on. See, so can, you can see I spilled some on the bottom. Wipe down anything that may have hydraulic oil on it. And now, we'll test it out. So I'll re-tighten it. All the way. And it used to only get that high. Now, this jack goes all the way up. And this jack is like roughly $80. So to be able to repair it rather than replace it is pretty nice. And it broke just outside of warranty. So hopefully this helps you guys. If it did, please subscribe and like the video.
Any and all tools you may need will be in the product description. If you click on the link, it'll take you to an Amazon page for them, and they are affiliate links, so if you buy them, I may or may not get a small commission. Um, it won't change the price for you at all. Thank you very much. I will be having more videos coming out soon.